Hello, I'm going to do the Virgo love reading. All right. Let's see. So this has a whole stack, but I'm just going to take the one on top. It's the ones that we saw, which was romance, Cupid's arrow strikes, and friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So I felt two different things with this. Cupid arrow strikes. So if you're single, um, there could be a friendship that goes to a higher level that you have with somebody that there's someone that you're friends with and you both decide that you want to be exclusive with each other, you want to start dating each other, and you want to start seeing each other. Or it could be that if you're in a relationship that you are nurturing the bonds of your friendship within your relationship and that improves your relationship because you're becoming friends and Cupid arrow strikes, like you feel those, you have those feelings again with each other. You have those, those feelings of... Um, that giddiness, that um, just feeling like you're falling in love again with your best friend, if you've sort of felt that distance between the two of you. And it's about having that friendship. It's about taking the time for each other. It's about um, doing fun things together without all the stresses of, you know, life, you know, bills and jobs and work and, you know, kids and family and all that kind of stuff is breaking away from that and just enjoying each other's company and that's what brings that romance back into your relationship and that gives you that um, fun feeling again. Um, let's see. I feel like picking some tarot cards. We have the King of Pentacles. So it could be with a King of Pentacles um, that you have that relationship, that friendship. Um, the King of Pentacles is also someone who is very patient, is someone who is a hard worker, somebody who um, wants to work at this relationship, that wants to put the effort in. It could be um, since he represents um, pentacles, which is like work. So this could be somebody at work. This could represent this person at work that you have a friendship with that you decide to move that to a higher level. Um, or there represents um, having that sort of business connection with. We have temperance. And then we have Page of Pentacles. So temperance is being patient. So whether it is working on your current relationship that you have um, with this person and building your friendship um, back up, that that's going to take some time um, for that to grow and to build, to get back into that romance of back where you used to be. It could also be that... Um, if there is somebody at your work that you're interested in, you have that friendship and that starts to grow into something that is more exclusive, that that may take a little time. And then we have the page of pentacles and pages, page represents young messengers. And this is about good news about changes in life. So I definitely feel like either you're, you're single or you're, um, in a ro uh, relationship that with the Page of Pentacles coming out about good changes in life, I feel like you're going to get that romance back in your life. Like you're going to have that, that Cupid arrow is going to strike either way, whether you're in a partnership or not, that that Cupid's arrow is going to be striking and there's going to be some changes in your life because you're going to feel a lot happier. You're going to feel a connection with somebody. You're going to feel that bond. It's like, I'm thinking like, this is one person and that's another person and you're having that connection, you're having that bond again, you're, you're feeling that closeness again with that person and it's, you just have to be patient. 
This also represents compromise. So if you're in a relationship, you know, you're going to have to compromise more, that it can't just be one way, that there has to be that compromise. And maybe that's what helps to build your friendship with that your partner is that you learning how to compromise and work together as a team and a partnership. So that helps to bring the romance back in. All right. Um, I think that's pretty good. I was going to pick another one, but I think we're just going to stop right there. And that sounds really good. So definitely there's Ro Cupid's arrow is on its way for you, Virgo. Um, good news about changes in life because that romance is coming in. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.